The following episode of Dad vs. Daughter was made possible by a contribution from Looney Labs. Hello and welcome to another episode of Dad vs. Daughter. I'm Tim the Dad. I'm Megan the Daughter. Megan, what are we playing today? We are playing Astronomy Flux and this is from Looney Labs. Yeah, this is another one of the uh, entries into the long line of Flux games, mm -hmm. except this is all about space stuff. So we've got planets, we've got satellites, we've got comets. Yeah. So pretty cool looking, so check it out. Flux is a very simple game. We have basic rules. And the basic rule is you're going to draw one card and you're going to play one card. We're each going to, though, start with a hand of three cards. And it tells you that right there. Now, this is a game of ever-changing rules. And as new rules come out, then those will affect our gameplay. And we'll talk about what those are when they come out. Uh, we're going to have goals. That's how we're going to win. The first player that completes the goal that's on the table will be the winner. Yeah. They win by having certain keepers in front of them. So That's about it. This game is very easy, but can get really convoluted as it goes on. <laughs> yes, it can, it can be one of those games that ends in Five one minutes. minute or goes on for three hours. Yeah, can constantly be changing. Okay, the rules state that you can either have the dealer be the first player, or you can randomly choose. So, Megan, I will ask, and there she yep. is. <laughs> So our first goal is Luna 2, so the first lunar impact probe, meaning the spacecraft and moon, and that happened in 1959, so this is a little educational as well, which is kind of cool. Um, so whenever you uh, play another goal, the mm -hmm. goal that's on the table is discarded. Yep. So that's it. All right, new rule, double agenda, so we can have two goals in play. Okay, I'll place that one down there. Let's go to Mars. Let's go to Mars. Cool. Which is kind of like Arnie says, get y'all blank to Mars. Mm, lovely. From Total Recall. All right, got a keeper. The Earth. Yeah, the Earth. E-R-T. 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 As they say, stitches can escape. Which no longer exists. Yeah, sadness. <laughs> Although I preferred the old alien I encounter never did alien, stitch. though. I used to a little. No, you think you I don't done remember it. if I did it then. Once or twice. I don't think I ever did. Uh, I have an asteroid. That's cool. Um, that reminds me of the movie Vacation. Do you have an asteroid? No, but I think my dad does. Jeez. Um, so I'm going to play an action. Steal a keeper. Steal a keeper from in front of another player. Add it to your collection of keepers on the table. So thanks. Just like that. Just like that. I'm going to play Supernova, which says discard all keepers in play except for Galaxy, Nebula, and the Void. Yep. Then mix the discard pile back into the draw pile and reshuffle. Start the new discard pile with this card. You reshuffle that and that'll be our new discard. Alright, that was you. Um... Let's do hand limit of four. So you can only have four cards in your hand. You have to discard any extras immediately. But we're still at like three, so we're good. The spacecraft. That's pretty cool looking. So I just need Pluto and I'll win. Mm, yeah, all right. Well, let's get rid of that then. So. Like that, we recognize Pluto in this game. We recognize Pluto. Pluto is still a planet. Well, let's get rid of that opinion. then. And so, uh, first satellite in, in orbit, spacecraft plus Earth in 1957. Sputnik. It was Sputnik. Sputnik 1. Mm -hmm. And I have spacecraft. Yeah. All right. Uh, so, we're going to do a new rule. Play 2. So, that was my first play. My second play is the new rule of the gold mill. Uh, so, once during your turn, discard as many of your goal cards as you choose. All righty. So I'm drawing one, and I'm playing two. Mm -hmm. So let's replace that play two with a play four. Okay. So that was my first play, so I still have three more plays. Yeah, really. Um, so you're pretty much playing all of your cards. Pretty much. Let's get rid of that goal. Inner planets. Interesting. That was two. That was two. 
Um, so you have to play like all your cards. Yeah, I am going to play hand limit of one. Oh. So, I, which I have one. You already have to discard down to one. Okay, that's fine. Um, yeah. And then I am going to discard and draw. I'm going to discard my entire hand, then draw as many cards as I discarded. Do you have this no does hand? not count, so yeah. I will not. I but you would, had to play it though. Yeah, so. All right, so you're still drawing one. And playing, playing four. four. All right. And your hand limit's so, only one anyway, so. Yeah, uh, so we're gonna do a draw five. Um, so, so draw, draw five cards. More. If you just play this card, draw extra cards as needed. So that kind of helps a little. Oops, I thought I drew too many because they stuck together. Okay. Um. That was one. We'll play two. Um, three. And let's do that again. Search through the discard pile. Take any action or new rule card you wish and immediately play it. Anyone can may look through the discard pile at any time, but the order of wit of what is in that pile should not be changed. Uh, so I'm going to take... I don't want to take that one because that doesn't matter. So action or rule. Um... Let's do the play two rule instead. And then our hand limit is one, so I'll discard that. All right, so I'm drawing five. Mm -hmm. I'm playing two. And, and I have dropping to... down to one. Um, did you just play that one? Hand limit of four. No, I did the new rule, so that oh, one, so that one should, yeah, should be gone. Yeah. So one, two, three, four, five. Uh, so here's my one. Mm -hmm. Two. Three. And four is select one of the new rule cards and place it in the discard Wait, pile. Wait, it's play two, not play four. Oh, because it, it changed. Yeah, All right, I so uh, I actually have to take this one back yeah. then. All right, that's so why I was like, hang on a second. All right, so that's my turn. Oh, now I got to discard. Discard. Hand then. limit one. Okay, well, let's just get rid of this. Yeah, okay. So we're drawing five. Two, three, four, five. We're playing two. Um, that does some kind of, sometimes get a little yeah. confusing. All right, so I'm going to play the moon mm -hmm. and an astronaut. And then I have to get down to one. Um, I'll keep this one. Yeah, okay. All right, so I'm drawing five, playing two. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Um, yeah, get Saturn down. And Replace that goal. So that's my two. Now I got to get down to one. Um, yeah. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five. All right. So play one, steal a keeper from in front of another player and add it to your collection, like the spacecraft. And, and you win. You win. Yeah, I, I could have switched the goal for my second action and one as well, like the moon and the spacecraft. So, 
Just like that, the game is over. All right, well, we're gonna give you the uh, asteroid trophy. All right, so I think we're just gonna jump right into the what we think. Uh, Megan, you've beaten me every game of this. Pretty much, So I'm yeah. gonna let you go first. Um, I like it, I like Flux in general. I think it's a really fun game. Um, each pack is very different. Um, I mean, you still kind of have the basic rules, um, you know, no matter what, um, like your rule set pretty much stays the same, but your keepers always change, your actions change, your goals obviously change. I think that's the fun part too. There was one action card you said you had a couple games ago. It was the Quiz Me. Yeah. And that one was really cool. I'm gonna see if I can find that while I'm doing this. Um, but I think you know some of these are really interesting. And the way that works is you'll notice that uh, on some goal cards, not all, but some will actually show this year date. And the way that Quiz Me is gonna work is you're gonna cover up that date. Um, and then you're going to show the card to everybody and you're going to try to see who can guess that date yeah uh, and i think they have to get it correct yeah something like that um i can find it here but the art on this game is cool because it's like you know actual space photography which i think is like so cool here's a new rule it's name a constellation which i think is kind of interesting so once during your turn if you state the name of a constellation of stars that no one has yet named this game you draw an extra card oh. That's kind of cool. It kind of tries to get your, you know, your knowledge going. Oh, where is that one? It's an action, right? It is an action, so it'll be a blue, blue card. card. yeah. So as Megan is looking for that, I'm going to show off some of these cards here, just so you can get a close-up look of that. Um, but yeah, the art on this is really nice. And this is part of their, um, what they call it? Their, it's like educational. Their educational line. series. Yeah hometown earth and the moon i like that mm -hmm. and they're, they're funny uh for spacewalk yeah. in 1965 yeah the educational fluxes yeah so, so yeah you are... do get to learn a little bit which i think is really cool um but yeah we like space in general so this is kind of right up our alley yeah so here's that quiz me so starting on your left all other players check with their hands for goals with a date in the lower left corner for each they must cover the date with a finger then reveal the rest of the card each other player, in turn order, starting with you, tries to state the date, or either if there are two, uh, the first person to get it right draws a card. The goal goes into play, and then the quizzer draws to replace it. Repeat until all dated goals have been played. Well, I don't know about the the player who has that card yeah. going first, because they're probably going to see that date before they cover their <laughs> finger up. So uh, I would always play that as every other yeah uh, and if nobody else gets it then mm -hmm. you know you go from there but um, but it's kind of interesting because then you know i think you know a little bit more about your space history stuff so you might know Well, i've always been interested yeah in, in so that. you would know the years a little bit better um but you know it does kind of get you to learn some of those which is pretty cool yeah like i said or like what megan said the art on there <gasps> is really cool because it goes off of, you know, actual space photography. This yeah. card, this new rule, Orbiting Planets, I just saw it. Um, so it's between turn events. So before every turn, all players must move the planet keepers they have in play to the player on their right, and then in parentheses, sorry, Pluto, not you. Oh, oh snap. That's sad. But uh, you check to see if then anyone wins, and then all inner planet keepers are then moved a second time. So that's kind of interesting. So it shows you the outer planets and then the inner planets. Yeah. So this is so really cool. Changes it up a little. Yeah. So I think you said, you know, each flux version kind of has its own little thing. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, this is uh, flux is kind of a very, uh, what's the term I'm looking for? Uh, divisive game because people either really love it yeah. or they really hate it. Um, I love it. And I know a, a lot of people game. that they completely hate flux is it just flux, because of the rules well like it's changing? that and the fact that it, the games can keep going on they and on. can yeah i don't think we have ever had a game that's done that we've already covered three flux games on our yeah. channel we've covered space flux monster. holiday flux and monster flux we've played ironically um, no pirate flux yeah no but we have marvel flux and doctor who flux as well that we've played 
Um, I feel like one of the Marvel games might have went a little long once, but it wasn't like too terribly long. It was just a longer game of Flux because I think we just kept changing the rules. We were a trash and keeper, so it prolonged it. I mean, if you run into that situation, you can always be like, all right, let's just call it. But Flux but is that's very like light. the nature of the game. Yeah, it's this is, I wouldn't even call this a gateway game because this is a, a game that you can get non gamers into. In fact, mm -hmm. uh, Starflux was the first one we played. Yeah. And we liked it because it was, you know, Star Trek, Star Wars, mm -hmm. you know, all, it was all that very kind of nerdy. stuff. Yeah. Um, so, you know, there's a bunch of different versions of Flux mm -hmm. out there. I would always say, you know, have a version that is, is near and dear to you and your family yeah. or friends because it's one that you can pull out on holidays or family get togethers mm -hmm. or just as kind of a filler while you're waiting for everybody else to show up. Yeah. So know, for game night. on the inside of, you know, their little advert here, it tells you, you know, they have like three different Star Trek ones for, you know, the original next gen and deep space. You know, we have Doctor Who, there's Firefly, there's Monty Python. Cthulhu. Oh, we also have Zombie Flux. I yeah. Forgot. Zombie Flux, you know, there's Nature Flux. And then if you know, if you want more educational ones. Stoner Flux. Yeah, there is that. There's a Monty Python. Chemistry, Anatomy, and Math Flux which I would never play math because I'm horrible at it. But there's like Batman Flux. So, you know, if there's an IP or, you know, a genre that you really like, you know, there's probably a Flux out there for it. Um, I can't believe we don't have Batman Flux. Yeah. I that and Pirate cool. Flux are the, are the Fluxes yeah. that are missing from our, our collection. What we would like, yeah. But, you know, I love the Doctor Who one. The Marvel one's really cool. Like Marvel, there's a card. Um, if you play it, you can only then say, I am Groot. Yeah. Until that, like, gets resolved, which is kind of funny. Um, so it can be a really fun game, no matter what. And I think it's a good game. You know, like you said, a filler. It's fun for the whole family. And, yeah, I highly recommend Flux. And with this one, find like the said, one you like. you're going you're gonna to learn some things. Um, so, mm -hmm. you know, if you want to try to trick your, your children, uh, <laughs> your learning. young children into learning stuff, uh, this would be a definitely a good way to do that. Yeah, but it's really cool if you're into space or you just you're a completionist and you know you want to get all the fluxes. Definitely add this to your collection. Yep. All right. So that is Astronomy Flux from Looney Labs, and we will catch you guys next time. Bye. Thanks for watching our video. We hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, click that like and subscribe button. Mm -hmm. You can also follow us on social media like Facebook and Twitter at Dad and Daughter. And if you like what we do and you want to support us, you can visit our Patreon page. So thanks for watching. Thanks. Oh,